Well, well, well. Glory, glory, glory. Aloha from the land of Hawaii. Amen. You could probably see the beautiful sun rising behind me right in the background. Well, friends, comment below where you're watching from. I'm super excited. Listen, this is one of my most favorite months. This is a powerful month. Of course, this is the Hebrew month of Nisan. But we're going to get into the prophetic word of the month for April because this is a month of great, great transition. Okay, I want you to comment below. I am in the greatest transition of my life. If you believe it, say amen. So continue to comment below where you are watching from. Give us some hearts and likes and share this on your wall, praise God, because Dr. Pastor Benlam is in the house, live from the land of Aloha, from Hawaii. Amen, Shakababa. And you see the beautiful sun rising, amen. Uh, I had to wake up super early. Here at 5 a.m. in Hawaii time. It's actually 7 a.m. here in Hawaii time. But praise God that we get to prophesy the word of the Lord into the nations wherever we go. Amen. So continue to comment below so that I can give you some shout outs and I can acknowledge you. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. And I know we have our YouTube family, uh, our growing YouTube live fam, and also those on Facebook. So praise God. Here on YouTube, I see you, Angela Jewell. I see you, Jurgen Meyer. I see you, oh, Joanna Laura, El Paso, Texas. God bless. Arcele Ann from Germany. I think I know who that is. Our Germany band fam. Glory to God. Rabba Sete. Uh, Prophet Ivana. Hello there, Keith Walker. Elaine Mason, one of our favorites. Luis A. Puckett from the UK. God bless you. Vic Strike, thank you. For being a Facebook subscriber, Kathy Warrington, Missouri. K West from Alaska. Come on, somebody. The Lord knows I've been wanting to go to Alaska for a long time. Amen, Dimitri DD. Good to see you. Patrice Lyons. I heard from a birdie that it's your birthday today. So everybody wish Patrice Lyons a wonderful happy birthday. Amen. BB, Yate, Yate, Mary, Sherry, Carolyn, Pastor Sharon. Favor Arin's God's gift, Okonoa. Wow, what a name. Apostle Sheldon, I miss you, my friend. God bless you. Felipe, happy belated birthday. Kathleen Clark from Canada, A. Eh? CT, South Africa. Love it, love it. Come on, people of God, comment below where you are watching from. Let's build up the room. Let's build up the algorithm. Because in a few minutes, I'm going to go into the word of the Lord for this month of April. This truly is the greatest transitionary month in the whole Hebrew calendar. In fact, it's April and, of course, September, which is Passover and then the Feast of Tabernacles or the High Holy Days. And these are both the heads of the year or Rosh Hashanahs. These are both beginnings of the year, and we're going to get into that in a little bit. Amen. Because God is a very specific and detailed God. Okay. You think that, uh, you know, Jewish people are very detailed. Listen, Jesus was Jew. Come on. I mean, God created the firstborn to be the Jewish nation. So he's a very specific, detail oriented God. So we're going to get into this. Yes. Amen. Glory to God. Tamitha and Shatarabata. Genevieve James. Amen. Hallelujah, Sharabata, Milagre Olivera. Good to see you as well, my friend. Child of the Most High Shalom, Aaron Bower, Angela Hohua from Gold Coast, Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Hey, Pam O says hello from Kenya. Rabba O, Aaron from Pennsylvania. Did I just see you this recently? Madeline Blais from Ottawa, Canada. God bless you. Ha <laughs> ha. Shandala Labata, A Parada, Federal Heights, Colorado. Amen, Diana, God bless you. Well, I feel the Holy Ghost. Amen, I feel the spirit of the Lord in this place. Nora Zaplin from Texas, watching from YouTube, praise God. Jata, Jata Ramande, Lorena Pruitt, in the airport in Kansas City, amen. Someone comment, I'm going places. Amen. You are going places. Abu Kar, Abu Bakar from Nigeria. Michael and Deborah Escobar. Can't wait to see you guys in May. Amen. And the AZ. Apostle Robert, good to see you. 
Alaska needs you. Amen, K West. Trust me, I would love. I've been wanting to go to Alaska for years. You know I me. Mean? I'm a, I'm a wannabe hunter. I'm a wannabe fisher, but I've been wanting to go to Alaska because there's a lot of Koreans there. And you know I me. Mean? I love the Inuits and the Eskimos. I love the First Nations, the natives. There's something very special. Amen. So, Shara Babaratata, Mendy Allen, Amen. Globo Sata. As you're logging in, continue to pray in the Holy Ghost. Get your faith and your expectation up. I feel the Lord today. I feel the Lord this morning. Shara Sisi, good to see you. Shurabata. Last night, first night in Hawaii, we went into some deep things. I began to teach on some deep revelation that I'm not able to teach many places or share. And uh, it was a smaller group, a very quality group. So I was able to go deep and people were pulling. I mean, it was wonderful. It was beautiful. So glory. The Tina Clement from Brantford, Ontario, Netherlands, Kim Amsterdam. Uh, we got a good, good amount of Canadians in the house. Good to see you. Hallelujah. Come on, I want you to say hallelujah. Cypress, California. Donald Julian Walters, God bless you. Natalie, good to see you. Amen, Mary, can't wait. Sarja Avzal Masse. Shatarabha Taralarabota. Robo Satarabratata. Well, friends, if you're excited to be here today, say amen. And I want to welcome you officially. This is Dr. Pastor Ben Lim, one of your favorite prophetic voices. And let me tell you, friends, this is a very important month. Is this is a month of great deliverance. It's a month where you are leaving Egypt. You're leaving an old season. You're leaving an old identity. This is a month where you're leaving bondages and addictions and slaveries. And you're being set free, of course, a very famous passage quoted in scripture. God speaks to Moses, let my people go. There are modern day deliverers that God's raising up. Are you a modern day deliverer moving in a deliverance anointing? There are modern day deliverers that God is raising up in this time and in this season. And I believe this month of April, and of course in the Hebrew, we are in the month of Nisan. This is a month where God delivers you from Nissan to Honda to Toyota in Jesus' name. If you're following my drift, say amen. But this is a month of Nissan. And Nissan, the reason why this month is so significant is because this is the month, of course, of Passover. Somebody say the angel of death is passing over. This is a month where curses, financial debt, poverty, the spirit of debt, the things that the enemy wishes upon you will not touch you. This is a month where you're leaving Egypt unscathed, untouched, and unbothered. I want you to hashtag unbothered. This is a month where you're leaving Egypt and the Egyptian systems of the world. Because remember, Egypt was not just a physical place, but it was a system. It was a way of operations. It was a way of governing. It was a realm, a principality. It was a government of systematic operations. And so even as the Israelites left as a new creation, being saved from hell, being saved from the pit of hell, they had to experience deliverance. And I declare right now that even as you cross through the Red Sea, as God opens up a way, where there seems to be no way, I declare over you right now that you are going to leave and you are going to exit and you are going to be fully saved, sozoed and delivered in the mighty name of Jesus. So why is this month so important? Because this month in the Hebrew calendar is called Nisan. And this is one of the, <clears throat> this is one of the, Heads of the year, of course, the Rosh Hashanah is in the month of September and October. And I love celebrating Rosh Hashanah. However, this is also a Rosh Hashanah. So what you have to understand is according to the word of God, there's two new years in one year. 
I'm going to say that again. There's two new years in one year, okay? And there's the new year on the calendar, which is in September, October, Rosh Hashanah. It's called the head of the year. And then there's the new year for the government or the kingdom, the people of God. So this is a governmental new year where the Israelites, a ragtag group of slaves, random nobodies, where the Israelites became a nation. They became a country. They became a people group. So this is the month where a ragtag group of people comes into a governmental glory and a governmental authority. I want you to comment governmental, praise God, because this is a month of a new government. I need you to hear me. I need you to follow me. <clears throat> this is a month of a new government in the church, a new government in the government in the United States and Israel. This is a month where the nobodies rise up and become the most powerful nation and kingdom on planet earth. If you're with me today, I want you to say amen. So in this month of Nisan, this month, God brings the most powerful nation to its knees. God brings that Pharaoh spirit. Let me ask you, have you been battling, contesting a Pharaoh spirit? Now, what does Pharaoh stand for? Pharaoh stands for a dictator, an evil tyrant. Pharaoh stands for an evil principality that enslaves and degenerates and, and takes advantage of God's people. Pharaoh is a spiritual principality that begins to dominate and enslave and continue to disintegrate and degenerate God's people. Listen, Pharaoh was specifically against the Jewish people, God's people. Now, because you were God's anointed, I'm talking to you, because you were God's anointed and because you are God's chosen, there are specific spirits, people that are against you. It's because it's you. It's because you're favored. It's because you're loved and chosen by God. But we see in the book of Exodus, amen, that the Bible says the taskmasters made their work even harder and more difficult. But God prospered the Jewish people. God heard their groans and their cries, and he delivered them. And you know what? There was recompense. He delivered them, and he released justice. And he released a greater long overdue recompense against the Egyptians. So some of you, you might be feeling some injustice. I want to talk to you because in this month of April, you are going to experience one of the greatest acts of God's justice that you have seen in your life. If you're with me today, say amen. And I want you to give us some hearts and likes and share this on your wall. In this month of April, we are going to see some of the greatest acts of justice ever. It's not a coincidence that the left and the woke are trying to indict President Trump with a false phony baloney claim and throw him in jail. I mean, how many times do you need to try to assassinate his character and put a false claim and try to throw him in jail? This is the month, come on somebody, where everything is going to begin to make sense. And the greatest act of justice and God's vengeance is going to be displayed. Let my people go, says God. Let my people go. There is a letting go anointing. There is a releasing, a freedom, a jubilee, a liberation. There is a freedom from bondage, from slavery. Lord, there is a letting go anointing that's coming upon you in this month in Jesus' name. Somebody hashtag let it go. Come on, somebody shout hallelujah.
This is the month. April and Nissan. This is the month where God is building you up for the greatest climactic crescendo release and victory. Bring in Pharaoh and the greatest kingdom and military down to its knees. Can a nation be born again in the day? Yes, it can. But can a nation also fall and become nothing in a day? Look at Babylon. Look at Persia Mede. Look at Egypt. Are you hearing me? Touch not God's anointed and do his prophets no harm. Hallelujah. If you're with me today, friends, I want you to comment below and let us know where you were watching from because I feel the fire of God. I want to go over to our key verse. There's so much we can say. But I am going to release some prophetic words and I'm going to release prophetic points as well. But April is the month of deliverance. This is the month of the deliverers. This is the month where your whole family will experience deliverance. Are you hearing me? If you receive it, say amen. This is the month where your whole family will experience and receive deliverance. Choose this day whom you will serve. Will you serve the God of Elijah? Will you serve Baal? Choose this day. Are you going to stay in Egypt or are you going to move forward? I don't know about you, but I'm not looking back. I'm tired of working for the man. I'm tired of being controlled, manipulated, micromanaged, being under a religious spirit. I'm tired of being connected to a low level. Let my people go. I'm leaving Egypt behind. I'm moving forward. I'm going to progress through the Red Sea. Come on, somebody. And God is going to fight for me and fight my battles and see to it that I will experience and receive my full deliverance. Someone say full deliverance. April is a month of full deliverance. April, Nissan, is a month of full deliverance. Somebody shout hallelujah. I prophesy now that your children are going to experience the fire of God. I prophesy now that your family is going to experience the fire of God. I prophesy now that you're the young men, the young women, how about even the transgender community that is so bewitched and benign in confusion and deception. We release the fire of God. Hurraba deliverance in America. Deliverance in the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody shout hallelujah. For the Lord says that even as you eat the unleavened bread, even as you eat the matzah, even as you eat the unleavened bread during this eight days of Passover, during this eight days of feasting, hallelujah. Even as you get ready and prepare and eat the unleavened bread, what is unleavened? There's no yeast. There's no mixture. There's no sin. There's no evil. There's no Pharisee religion. There's no low level. So that's why you do not bake the bread, the word of God. You do not arise your life. You do not mix it in with yeast. Someone shout, I'm free from the yeast, the leaven of the Pharisees. And that is the process of purification. He is pulling out the yeast the leaven, the little antigens, the little uh, activators, the little boxes in the garden that ruin the beautiful crops of God. He is removing, someone say removal. Come on, I need you to comment divine removal. There's divine removals happening. Sudden removals happening. He is removing in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. He is removing in a mighty name. There is divine removals. People of God, if you hear me well, I want you to comment below. Hallelujah. Comment below if you hear me well. But there are divine removals. And what the Lord is doing, he's removing the yeast, the leaven, the manipulation. You know, some people try to sow bribery or sow manipulation, sow witchcraft into you. Harabata. But the Lord is removing those false things. And that's why we eat the unleavened bread. Come on, somebody. That's why we eat the matzah, even though the matzah does not have much taste. 
And what does the Lord say? My goodness, I feel the glory of God. And what does the Lord say? The Lord says, have your staff in the hands. Have your belt tucked in. Oh, Have your sandals on your feet. Oh, because you're going to move quickly. You're going to travel quickly. I prophesy right now. Get your passports ready. Get your bank accounts ready. Come on. Get everything ready. Get it ready because you're going to have a quick and sudden move. Sudden removals and sudden moves in Jesus' name. Somebody shout, I'm moving forward. You're moving forward, my friends. You're moving forward into the promised land, into the glory of God. Someone say amen. So this is a month of Passover, my friends. And I want to go to the key verse right now. I want to go to the key verse right now. Amen. I want to go to the key verse that I feel in my spirit because April is a month of deliverance. Here's a key verse today. Exodus 12, 23. Come on, somebody. I am the God that he lived the April 12, no, Exodus 12, 23. For the Lord will pass through, say pass through, to strike the Egyptians. And when he sees the blood on the lintel and on the two doorposts, the Lord will pass over the door and will not allow the destroyer to enter your houses nor to strike you. And all of God's people said, amen. Listen, friends, help us to get the numbers up. Give us some hearts and likes to share this on your wall. Tag somebody. Because this is the key verse for this month of April and of Nisan. Amen. Of this month of deliverance. Of this month of Pesach, Passover. I will not let the destroyer enter your house. I will not allow that curse, that cancer. I will not allow those IRS agents. I will not allow any evil to come near your dwelling place. When the destroyer, the angel of death, sees the blood. Someone say there's power in the blood. There's power in the blood. Shut that up. There's power in the blood. This is a month, my friends, where the blood makes you new. Of course, we're going to celebrate Easter or Resurrection Sunday, which really is the correlation of Passover Pesach. And this is one of my greatest favorite stories and times of the year. Amen. Ho oh, shut up. Because it stands for the death, the burial, and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. The Lamb of God, Yeshua HaMashiach. This is a season of resurrection power. This is a season where you're, you have died out of Egypt. And now you're being raised from the dead. As a new people, as a new creation, as a new nation, as a new government. But there's power in the blood. This is a month where the blood of Jesus is spilled out. And that's why they had to sacrifice the lamb, an unblemished lamb, and put the lamb, the blood, on the doorpost and the sides. Amen. I want you to say the devil has no access. Amen. That stands for the mark of Jesus, not the mark of the beast. It's the blood of Jesus. Are you marked by the blood of the lamb? Which means you have his DNA. Which means when the angel of death, when the destroyer walks by, comes on through, it cannot touch you. It cannot come near you. Are you hearing me? Therefore, it's the blood. Hear me now. It's the blood that causes you to transition. It's his blood because remember, life is in the blood. And remember, blood can smell. Are right, you hearing me? There's bad blood, right? Bad odor in blood, and there's good life in blood. So when the enemy smells, when the angel of death smells what's in your blood, sha, does he smell Jesus? Or does he smell cancer? Does he smell infirmity, uncleanliness in your blood? And so that blood causes you to transition. That blood is the flow of life. It's the blood of Jesus. And I believe right now, this is a time and season where God is saying, get ready for the blood to come upon your family. Get ready for the blood of Jesus to come upon the United States of America. I'm telling you, friends, it's the blood of Jesus. Not by our strength, not by our works. It's by his 
stripes and his righteousness. So this is a month, I want you to hear me, where the devil will pass by. The enemy is about to pass by. And that's why we call this Pesach and Passover. This is the month where the angel of death is going to pass you by and you are going to pass through. You're going to go through the Red Sea. And again, the Red Sea also stands for the blood of Jesus. So I'm going to say I'm passing through. His blood speaks a better word. It's the sacrifice of Jesus. So I'm going to say resurrection. This is a season of resurrection power, my friend. And I believe the Lord is about to resurrect some new things in the church. There's going to be a resurrection anointing in the church of Jesus Christ. Somebody say April is the month of deliverance. This is a month where it is great, great transition. And it comes and happens by the blood of Jesus. I want to quote another verse out of Exodus. Exodus 13, verse 4. Today, you are going out in the month of spring. Exodus 13, 4. Today, say today, I'm going out. Today, I'm going out in the month of spring. Exodus 13, 4. You're going out. It's a going out anointing. It's a freedom, a releasing anointing from the grave, from death. This is a freedom releasing jubilee anointing. From the grave, from the pit, if you receive it, say amen. Now, I, I want to say a little bit about Passover because it's an eight-day-long feast, my friends, eight days. And for eight days, they eat the unleavened bread, and they begin to watch for the appointed time of deliverance to leave. And you know what? The Bible says here in Exodus 23, 15, you will not leave empty handed. Come on. You will not leave empty handed. In fact, the Bible says when you before you leave, turn to your neighbor and ask for an earring, ask for a bracelet, an anklet. Before you leave, turn to your neighbor, for they will give you tunics, they will give you jewelry, and that stands for the sevenfold recompense. Don't shout hallelujah. You will not leave Egypt empty handed. So I want to speak to you. In this month of April, you're going to experience recompense. Like I said earlier, justice, deliverance, and recompense. There is a payback anointing. And there is a comeback anointing. And in this month, you are going to experience recompense and payback. You will not leave empty-handed. I want to stretch out your hands. Your hands will literally be full with the glory of God. Your hands will be full and overflowing with sevenfold recompense, seven bags over overflow. Your life will be not empty, but it will be filled to the brim and overflowing for the next season that's ahead. Are you ready for what's to come? Because remember, resurrection means that Jesus rose again with the keys to death in Hades. Jesus did not rise from the grave empty-handed. Come on, somebody. He rose again with authority, with keys, with breakthrough. So you are about to rise with keys in your hands, with sevenfold return. You are about to rise. Not empty handed, but with plunder of the Egyptians and of the enemies. If you're with me today, I want to say, man, give us some hearts and likes. Now, friends, I want to give you some prophetic points, okay? I want to give you three prophetic points of what you can expect for this month of April. But I want to give you five prophetic words, okay? Because April, remember, Nissan is a new year so it's a new year this is the governmental new year and in this month of april and nissan there's five things prophetically i want to prophesy i want to give you right now five things number one a great shaking in the economy 
this month, there's going to be a great shaking in the economy even more. We saw even a few weeks ago with Silicon Valley Bank and what the Fed and what the Treasury Department is doing. There's a lot of things they're not showing us. The media is lying to us, is not showing us, propagating. But there's going to be shaking in the economy. Amen. But how about this? Even as they're shaking in the economy, the Lord is going to give to you and to your bosom his economy, his finances, and his resources. Number two, there's going to be political shaking. So number one is economic shaking. Number two is political shaking. Wow. And I just heard the Lord say right now, earthquakes, earthquakes, pray against earthquakes in Jesus' name. Wow. I remember for one of the 23 prophetic words for 2023, the Lord said two E's, earthquakes and eruptions, earthquakes and eruptions. You can watch that word on YouTube. But pray against earthquakes in this month. But the second prophetic word is, uh, is there's going to be shaking politically and even geographically. So we need to pray for Israel. And there's going to be a lot of shaking and exposure in the governments of America and the world. All right. Number three, the third shaking is in the church. Okay, in the church. In the church, there's going to be more and more separation. More and more separation unto revival. So some of you are being separated from the old, from others, for a greater move, for greater glory, for a greater revival. So there's going to be more and more separation, and there's going to be a raising up even in the church. Number four, the fourth thing you can expect in this month is new positions. There is a positioning anointing this month in April. God is repositioning you. God is moving things around. So this month, you're leaving Egypt as a slave and you're coming out on top as a king as a nobody to having a name and a face so this is a month where there's a repositioning and he's repositioning your life the promotion amen a raising up and a lifting up this month in april if you believe it and if you receive it i want to say amen now, the fifth thing that you can expect in Jesus' name, number five, the fifth thing that you can expect, hallelujah, is that there's going to be great power upon the church, great power, resurrection power, delivering power, deliverance power. It's going to be great power. It's a war of powers. It is a battle of powers spiritual powers, high places, principalities. But we understand that we have the victory. So this month in April, get ready for resurrection power and get ready for deliverance in the church and worldwide in Jesus' name. This month, my friends, if you receive that, say amen. Now, I want to give you three prophetic points. Hallelujah. I want to give you three prophetic. Those were prophetic words for this month of April, because I feel so strongly this month of April, there's gonna be a lot of shaking, a lot of shaking. There's gonna be exposure, but there's also going to be release and blessing specifically for those of ears here at ICC to go to the next level. And if that's you, say amen, because you'll be the head and not the tail. Hallelujah. But I wanna give you three prophetic points, my friends. But I want you to comment below right now. Hallelujah. I want you to say amen. Glory to God. Shout out. I would give some hearts and likes. Rebe seta rabata. Sharabata rabrosata. Rebe se karabrata tarabrata. Let me just take a drink of the Holy Ghost. <laughs> Come on. 
glory. Sharabarabrata tarabrata. Shanda no 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 no. That's right. Neil Shuri. More kavod. More kavod. Amen. April Hernandez. Mona Maestri. Jonathan Adai. Crystal. Diana de la Riva. Thank you, Joanna Laura, for being a subscriber on YouTube. Thank you, Lord. Someone say fire. <laughs> Kim Amsterdam. Rebe se karablanda de bota. Thank you, Lord. Now, I want to give you three prophetic points, my friends, because you are passing through. Amen. And the angel of death is passing over. Somebody say, I am passing the test. Come on, I need you to prophesy. I'm passing the test. You're going to pass through unscathed, unbothered as a new creation. You're passing through and you're passing over. Now, friends, I want to give you three prophetic points. But if you're receiving today and you're excited for this month of April, I want to say amen. Because you are a modern day deliverer. You are a modern day Moses. And just like death cannot hold Jesus down. So death, poverty, financial debt, crisis, confusion, sickness shall not touch you. It shall not come near you. It cannot hold you down. So don't say amen. So in this month, my friends, I want to give you three prophetic points. There's really so much I can say. So much, and I've said so much already. But in this month, I want to give you three prophetic points. Hallelujah. Number one, of course, it's the Passover anointing. You're going to leave some things behind. You're going to die to self and become a new creation. You're passing the tests, and you're passing through and the angel of death is passing over you and your family. Somebody say, I'm safe. Somebody say, I'm covered. So it is a passing over anointing. Amen. It's a Passover. It's the Pesach. Where you're pushing through. The baby is pushing and pushing and you give birth to the baby. It's the Passover. The pushing anointing. So in this month, expect Passover. Death will not touch you. Misfortune will not touch you. Rabbi, and you're going to pass over and become a new creation. Number two, the second prophetic point I want to leave with you. Hallelujah. The second prophetic point. It is power. Someone say power. Because even as you get delivered from Egypt and from Pharaoh, there becomes a changing of the power structure and a changing of the guard and a shift of authority. You are powerful. You will be feared. In fact, Pharaoh and the Egyptians feared God and Moses and the Jewish people. They said, get away from me. Go away. They feared the people of God. So this is a month of power. Of course, Jesus destroyed death. Death cannot hold him down. He rose again on the third day. The third day anointing. Hallelujah. Rabbi, and he rose again with power. Resurrection power. So this month, my friends, there is a rising <clears throat> of the word of God. There is an increase of the glory. And there is a power. You're getting your voice back. You're getting your fire back. You're getting your authority back. There is a power. That God's releasing in this month. And then number three. Is promises fulfilled. This month. You're going to take back. What the enemy stole. And gain so much more. Seven full recompense. You will not leave empty handed. You are going to experience promises fulfilled. God. Fulfilled this promise. <clears throat> God was faithful. To his word. He delivered us. He set us free. He broke us through. He broke every bondage and chain. And everything that tried to uh, keep me down. He set me free. He delivered me. Promises fulfilled. 
and I'm leaving with possession. I'm not leaving empty handed. Huh? Promises fulfilled. Ah! I feel the Holy Ghost. Come on, pray right now. Promises fulfilled, my friends. As you pass over into purity, as you gain power and authority with resurrection as you leave, and as you experience the recompense and possession and promises fulfilled, the Lord, hallelujah, Jesus, he's so faithful. He's about to split the Red Sea. He's about to part the Red Sea in two. My goodness, are you ready for miracles? Are you ready for the glory of God? My goodness, are you ready for God to show up and show off? For judgment, justice, deliverance. If you're ready, I want you to say amen. Now, friends, I want you to lift up your hands. Because this is a month of deliverance. It's a month where you are being let go. And you're being released from everything that tried to hold you back. I want to pray. Amen. And now this is a very full broadcast today. And if you if you enjoyed today's broadcast, if you're enjoying this, I want you to say amen. Give some hearts and likes, share this on your wall. But I want to pray three deliverance prayers over your life right now. Deliverance prayers. In fact, I have an album called uh, Breakthrough Deliverance. And you can even check out on my YouTube Deliverance Prayers. But I want to pray three deliverance prayers over your life right now. If you're ready to receive, say, I'm ready. The first deliverance prayer, I want you to repeat this out loud with me in Jesus' name. Repeat it out loud with me over your life in Jesus' name. If you're ready, say amen. Lift up your hands. Number one. <clears throat> I declare and I decree that my finances are being delivered from the locusts and from the Babylonian systems of the world. I declare that every single thing that belongs to me and my family will be returned and I will receive recompense and sevenfold over financially in my life in Jesus mighty name if you receive that say hallelujah shout glory now number two the second deliverance prayer if you're ready to declare this say I'm ready Declare it out loud with me, my friends. Number two, I declare and I decree that my family will be saved and will be delivered by the blood of Jesus. I declare my family will be under the glory of God and every generational curse will be broken in the mighty name of Jesus. My family will be baptized in the Holy Ghost and will be covered with angels all around. I declare my family is passing through and will be saved and will serve the Lord Jesus Christ. Come on, if you believe it and receive it, I want you to shout hallelujah and clap your hands. Glory, glory, glory. Now, if you are ready for the third deliverance prayer, I want you to say, I'm ready. Third deliverance prayer. Are you ready, friends? All right, repeat this out loud after me. I declare and I decree that every spirit of infirmity Death and disease will be broken off from my body. I'm healed. I'm free. I am 
raised up with the Lord Jesus Christ. I declare Egypt is not my portion. And I am passing over and through in Jesus' name into my future and into my destiny. Who the sun sets free is free indeed. And I declare deliverance from every opposing spirit against my health, my wealth, my life, and my body. In the mighty name of Jesus, and all of God's people shout and clap hallelujah. Come on, let's praise the name of Jesus. April is a month of deliverance, the greatest transition of your life. Somebody shout, I'm moving, I'm moving, I'm moving. Come on, come on, clap your hands and praise the name of the Lord because your Pesach, your Passover deliverance anointing is coming upon you in the mighty name of Jesus. Come on. Clap your hands and praise the name of Jesus. Shaka Rabba Sata Rabba Sata. Rebebe, the angel of death will pass you by and his presence will lead you out. His glory ha, will lead you out. Hallelujah. Rebe Seka, Rebe Seka, Rebe Sete. His glory will lead you out, my friends. His fire will lead you out. His glory will lead you forth. Your family will experience salvation and deliverance. Your finances, your health, your personal life and destiny. Jesus, Lord, we give you glory and the honor. So we lift our hands in worship as we bless your holy name. You deserve the glory and the honor. So we lift our hands in worship as we bless your holy name. For you are great. You do miracles so great. Are you ready for great miracles? Great, great miracles. He will part the Red Sea and he will judge and shut down every lying opposing spirit in your life that is set up and chanted against you. Rabata. Dandarabosa tarabrata. Samasha, hallelujah. Listen, friends, I want to pray for some of you right now. I want to pray for some of you. But if you receive this Word today, my goodness, so full and so rich. But I see angels being released to you right now. Angels. And the Lord says, you will not delay, but you will move forward quickly in the glory of God. It's going to, you're delivered, you're freedom, you're fire. It's going to happen quickly. It's not going to take years and years and years. It's going to happen at the blink of an eye. Somebody shout hallelujah. It's going to happen at the blink of an eye, my friends. Matarabata, let my people go. <laughs> let my people go, says God. If you believe it, say amen. Let my people go. Let my people go. Glory to God. So, friends, if you were blessed today and you received, you are excited about this month of April. Hallelujah. I want you to say amen. Now, I'm going to pray for some of you prophetically. Amen. And personally, as the Lord leads. But in this moment, I want to give you an opportunity to sow a seed. Can we bless the name of the Lord? Can we bless the prophet? And can we bless this work, this ministry of the Lord? We're going to put up the different ways to give, and we're going to pin to the top. The different ways to give. But what I want you to do is I want you to comment Passover. In fact, I want you to hashtag Passover. 
because you're passing over and you're passing through. Amen. So as you sow and bless the name of the Lord and bless this work, this ministry, I want you to comment hashtag Passover. Hashtag Passover. Amen. Comment hashtag Passover. And please do not leave before blessing the Lord and honoring him because these are the times we must sow. I'm telling you, friends, these are times of great promotion. These are times of genuine breakthrough. These are time portals. These, this is an appointed time. This is a major feast, a major biblical feast. So these are the times to sow, my friends. Amen. Because your seed proceeds you. Your seed causes you to succeed. So I want you to sow, my friends, and bless the Lord. I'm telling you, hashtag Passover. I'm telling you, friends, bless the Lord. You on YouTube, you on Facebook, and even those that are going to watch the replay. Amen. Passover, hashtag Passover. Del Pesh, Utomo, Rebecca, Rosianne, Avila, Vakama, Zach Stolp, Rhonda, Hermelinda, Hetty Mills, Louise Puckett, Mary, Yvonne Guy, thanks for being a subscriber. Juan Martinez, love you. Thanks for being a subscriber. Anthony Carabao, bless you, prophet. Yolanda, Melissa Tober, Sue Sanchez. Uday Prince, that's right, as you sow, hashtag Nora Zapian, thank you, yay, NG, Confidence Mabeba, Madden and Blyce, Tina Clement, Child the Most High, Wendy Queen, Le Bong, Sandy Archibald, Joanna Laura, Jesus, Neil Shuri, Rebe Sete, and then after this, I want to prophesy over a number of you as the Spirit of the Lord leads. Amen. Shara Babarota. Rebe Setarablata. Mandarabata. That's right. Shatarabata. Hashtag Passover. As you saw, my friends. Pastor Sharon. Amen. Death will not touch you. The angel of death will pass you by Malagre. Shaniel. CC, Sherry, Providence Ivana, Carolyn Ward, DD, Yomari Olson, Keith Walker. Come on, somebody. If you receive today, say amen. Thank you, Weaver, Rebecca Butler. I mean, the glory of God is so strong today. And who you know is going to grow and grow and intensify from glory to glory. Rabba Baba Alejandra Eduardo. Royal Diadem, I oh, love that. Favor Kindness, Shannis H. <clears throat> That's right, sow your Passover seed, my friends. Sharabata Bless the work of the Lord. Sow into the word, into the atmosphere. Cheryl, Sherry Vogel, Hadassah. Come on, April is my month of deliverance. Come on, comment that. April is my month of deliverance. Apostle Barbara, Kimberly White Pepe, Keisha L. Johnson. April is my month of deliverance. Amen. And you're not sowing a seed for deliverance. You're blessing the Lord because he is deliverance. Amen. So I'm going to leave this up for another 30 seconds, my friends. So, so in this atmosphere, in this moment, and then I want to pray for some of you. Amen. I'm telling you, my friends, this is a mega month, mega, mega, mega month. Shatarabata. Glory. Glory. Crystal, God bless you. Marabasha Tarablata Tarablata. Hallelujah. Rebese. Rebese. Shandara Ha ha ha. 
Shandala la la bata tarabrata. Glory to God. Sharabalabata. Natalie Sanchez Martin, Patrice Leons. Glory to God. Thank you, everybody, for sowing and blessing the name of the Lord. But right now, I want you to lift up your hands. And I declare and I decree the greatest transition and passing over anointing in your life. Amen. Over the fillers. I don't know if Melissa and Rob are here, but there's a passing over anointing on your life, Melissa Filler. There's a passing over anointing. And even over you, Anthony Carabayo, I saw the glory of God over you. And I saw the spirit of the Lord hovering over you. For the Lord says, even as the spirit hovered over the waters to create the Lord says, I'm going to create and birth a new thing out of you this month. Anthony Carabayo, in Jesus' name. If you want me to pray for you, I want you to comment, pray for me. And I will choose you as the Spirit of the Lord leads. Glory to God. Rabatarablata. Amen. Crystal on YouTube, you said you feel the excitement. I want to pray for you, Crystal. Because I see that, I see an adventure. I see like a road trip for you. I see you in your car and driving. And the Lord says, get ready for the trip of your life. Get ready for an adventure. Hallelujah. And I see you, Crystal, driving with the Lord. And the Lord says, I will lead you and I will guide you. So get ready for divine leadership. Remember, it's still Psalm 23 here. 2023, he will lead you in paths of righteousness. Sharabata, Sharabata. Leo Bontelady on YouTube, Leo Bontelady on YouTube. And you know, I feel like I definitely need to do more YouTube lives, even spontaneously. But I feel like I need to do just a prayer on prophetic time exclusively on YouTube, possibly. Or I just pray for everybody on YouTube. So go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube friends, Benlam Global. Leo Ben Teledi. I see there's a struggle. There's almost like a cloud of confusion and a cloud of doubt. Some discouragement and despair. But the Lord says, I'm breaking that. And I'm going to shine my light into your life. He wants to encourage you and he wants to strengthen you. I don't know if I keep seeing like some sort of physical infirmity. I don't know if it's your stomach or something in and on your body. It might be all the stress, Leo Bong Teledi. But the Lord says, be released from that infirmity. Be released from that vex and be free. Forgive and be free in Jesus name. Thank you, Lord. Let me pray for some people here on Facebook. And I don't know why. Glory to God. It keeps the comments keep freezing here on my side. Thank you, Lord. El Basi. I want to pray for you, El Basi. Never seen you before. Rabata, but El Basi, I see a cup of joy coming. And I hear the Lord saying, El Basi, that you are acquainted with the cup of suffering. But there's a greater cup of joy and a cup of glory that's coming. I see you literally drinking tea and coffee and reading and studying and working. And I see blogs internet, social media, ministry. But the Lord says, you have a ministry of the one. Counseling, psychology. When you encourage and minister to the one, many will be touched and blessed. So go deeper, says God, go deeper, go deeper. 
For this is a time and season where he's taking you deeper. Deeper in Jesus' name. Deeper into the word and into the living word. That is Jesus Christ himself. Hallelujah. El Baxis is true. Rebecca Butler here on Facebook. Rebecca Butler. The Lord says get ready for family salvation and family deliverance. You've experienced much heartache and hardship. Many years of tears. Even abuse and trauma. But Rebecca Butler, the Lord says, get ready for fresh wind and fresh fire. I see you wearing cowgirl boots. And the Lord says, these boots aren't made for walking. So the Lord says, walk the line, Rebecca. Walk the line. For there will be a Johnny Cash and a John Wayne anointing on your line. For there is a new sheriff in town, Jesus. Walk the line, my friend. Walk the line. Rabban de Rosata. Rebeman de Tarablata. Rababa. Time for you to walk. These boots aren't made for walking. Let me pray for one more person here on YouTube. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I'm so excited for this month of April. It's a true month of the apostolic and of activation. Here on YouTube, Sarah Moliere. Sarah Moliere. I see you're in a great transition, Sarah. You're in a big, big, great transition. And the Lord wants you to take the step of faith and take the risk. Don't doubt yourself. Don't doubt yourself. Don't hold back. Don't let money be an issue. Yes, we need to pay our bills, but don't let money be an issue. Take that step of faith and that risk. And see what happens. See what the Lord does as you obey him. And step out of the boat and begin to walk on water. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, if you believe it, say amen. Glory to God. Kim Amsterdam says my birthday on Sunday on YouTube. Let me pray for you, Kim Amsterdam. The joy of the Lord is your strength. And he celebrates. I feel like Kim, the Lord, saying, stop surrounding yourself with toxic people. Let them go. Let them go. If they're not going to love you, respect you, and honor you, and appreciate the gift of God that's on your life, then they're not for you. So in this season, Kim Amsterdam, as your it's your it's your birthday on Sunday, the Lord says, let him go. Because there's something better for you. He has a company and a people prepared for you. Amen. And all of God's people said amen. Now friends, before we close today, I want to make some quick announcements. If you enjoyed today, say amen. I'm telling you, I need to just one day on YouTube, I'm going to set it up maybe next week. I'm just going to prophesy over every single person who comes on YouTube. So make sure you follow me on YouTube, LM Global. And even if you're on YouTube, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. All right, all of our social media platforms. But uh, before we close today, I want to thank you again for coming on. I pray that you were blessed. Share this on your wall. And like I said, follow us, subscribe. But I am here in Hawaii, and uh, I'm ministering tonight again in Oahu, so come and see me. And then tomorrow, I'm going to be in Hilo. I'm going to be in Hilo, the big island. And uh, Dr. Robert Slaredon is uh, video calling. He's part of a video. And so tomorrow, we're going to be in Hilo, Hawaii. So come and see me if you're in the big island. All right, uh, I love what God's doing here in Hawaii. And um, pray for me because yesterday I did not feel too good physically. And even now, I don't feel 100%. I don't know what it is. Pray against tiredness, infirmity, but just keep me covered in prayer because I did not feel too good yesterday and last night. 
in Jesus name. Amen. Number two, um, I will also be ministering uh, in Kona Sunday night. Kona Sunday night. So come and see me in Kona, which is also part of the big island of Hawaii. So come and see me in Kona Sunday night. Amen. Um, after that, I am going to be, where am I going to be? I'm going to be in Portland, my friends. No, I'm going to be in Salem, Oregon, excuse me. I'm going to be in Salem, Oregon. In the month of April, I'll be in Salem, Oregon. So I have not been to Oregon in a long time or the Pacific Northwest. So I'm very excited to be back in the PNW. So I'm going to be ministering in Salem, Oregon. So friends, I want to invite you. Come and join me in Salem, Oregon. It is going to be powerful. Amen. If you are in Washington area, NorCal, in Oregon, and the PNW, Pacific Northwest, come and see me, my friends, in Salem, Oregon. Yeah. I mean, just hearing that name, Salem, I mean, I think Salem means star. Or no, it means shalom. You know, the salam, right? Salem. But uh, just hearing that name, Salem, I mean, it just sounds like, you know, witches and witchcraft, right? But all right. Next, uh, I will be in Grand Junction, Colorado. So, friends, I love Grand Junction. I love Colorado. I love what God's doing there. So come and see me. We have three events in one week. Uh, the Mixed Glory Impartation. Come and see me there on Thursday which is April 20, and then Friday and Saturday, uh, of course, we're back at the Glory Hub in Grand Junction, the Glory Hub. So come and see me there. These meetings are off the charts, super duper, uber powerful. And then that Saturday, I'm doing a prophetic training in Grand Junction, Colorado. Come and see me, my friends, if you're in the Colorado area. I'm telling you, we're seeing revival, fire, and glory everywhere. It's incredible. Now, also, friends, I do have a conference coming up at the end of April in Southern California. All right. Um, uh, with myself, evangelist John Ramirez, and Jake Hamilton. Now, this is something you don't want to miss. We still do have some VIP spots open. Open heavens, power, and glory. We do have some VIP spots open, and uh, we do have, uh, we will take uh, online registration so you can watch online, okay? It's exclusive. You must, must register. But this is going to be a very powerful time. Myself, Evangelist John Ramirez, ex-Satanist, and Jake Hamilton, worship leader extraordinaire, for three days, April 27, 8, and 29, in Orange County. California, don't miss it. I'm telling you, friends, this is going to be a dynamic, powerful event meeting that you don't want to miss. And even if you cannot join in person, consider joining online. Amen. And also, like I said, we do have a few more VIP seats left and open. Amen. So if you're coming or joining, I want to say I'm coming. Haha. <laughs> say I'm coming. Amen. And uh, last but not least, I do have an online group mentorship called 7M Glory Equip. Uh, at least every month, we have two Zooms, private Zooms. You are part of a private group in Telegram, and you have greater access and mentorship from me personally, from myself. So I would love to mentor you more and pour into you. I'm telling you this group, 7M Glory Equip, they are world changers, my friends. So continue this year with mentorship, with covering, with connection, fellowship. These people in 7 and Glory equipped their world changers. <clears throat> but I would love to mentor you, to walk with you. Even if you're a part of our 7M, uh, you get discounts on merchandise and for our events. And uh, you get VIP seats. Just incredible stuff. So do consider joining. I would love to mentor you more, love on you, 
and see you part of that family. Even today, I mean, we have our seven M glory equipped with Dr. Robert Lairdon, author of God's generals, and he is a general himself. So praise God. Well, friends, I can't wait to see you. Chris P says I'm coming. Amen. Hallelujah. Thanks for joining today and watching. If you're excited for April, say amen. Now, friends, consider giving us a heart and a like, a follow, a subscribe. And April is your month of great deliverance. Amen and amen. God bless you, friends. Love you. Happy April. And I'll see you soon. God bless.